Hello the kid, the desire, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with a vlog because fucking I might as well make one. Boogie already made one. <laughs> it was uh give me a moment. I was in the middle of waiting for Skyrim's patch to update, getting all that done. But uh I figured I might as well do a vlog on the election as I'm watching results on the back of my uh program that I'm recording this with. Uh, <laughs> man, I look better in darkness than I do in light. I should probably do this more often. Um, feel like I... <laughs> like Boogie did when he did his video uh, on who he voted for. I feel I should mention I am what I like to call it independent with a really heavy left lane. <laughs> Um, didn't get to vote in the last presidential election because Oregon somehow lost my registration. I would have voted Obama at the time, but I didn't get to vote. And that has been a point of anger for me. So this year, <laughs> when I finally got the chance, I said, okay, I'm going to just throw myself into the political landscape. I'm going to get everything I need to know. I'm going to figure out who I want most based on the issues and vote for them. Took me about three months to realize shit's fucked. <laughs> and then another three after that, when the candidate I wanted didn't get in, that candidate being Bernie Sanders. And <laughs> that was a, uh, that was about as much anger as I got as when I wasn't able to vote in 2012. Because I thought I did my time. I did, you know, all of this. I supported him to the bitter end and nothing. What do I get? Didn't feel like much. And... Yeah, my fan's a little loud. I apologize if that's picking up a little too much in the microphone. Uh, it's hot as balls here in Oregon. Um, <laughs> it ended up getting up to 70 degrees in fucking November. That is bullshit. But I digress. I'm making this video because I personally voted for Hillary Clinton because I'm following what Bernie said in that he truly believes that Hillary is a better candidate overall than Donald Trump. And personally, he didn't have to tell me that. <laughs> I knew from the beginning Trump was going to be a shit show. I knew from the very beginning that his first speech made it so I couldn't see myself voting for him. That sort of unnecessary vitriol and absolute hate and, dare I say it, close to fascism, made it so I couldn't see myself voting for him. It's just impossible for me. I'm not going to allow myself to be a contributor to as close to Mussolini and Hitler as America could possibly get. And what's annoying me, the most of all, is that this is our fault. Politicians don't come out of thin air. George Carlin said this at one time. They just don't come in from an alternate dimension, coming through a little membrane wall. They come from our schooling. They come from our culture. They come from our sort of lifestyle. They come from us. Politicians are us. You might not want to think that, and a lot of you will probably argue with me in the comments about that. They came from us. They get their cues from us. This is the best we got, folks. This is the best we got. Garbage in, garbage out. This is what we get. I did not like Hillary Clinton. Like I said, I supported Bernie Sanders because... I couldn't trust 
Hillary Clinton as much as I could Bernie. But because I trusted Bernie, when he said Hillary will be better than Donald Trump, I believed him. So I voted for Hillary. And I had clear in my mind what happened with Brexit, what happened in 2000 when I was too young to know any better. And I just, I knew what would happen if I didn't vote. We saw what happened with Canada, how they have an amazing president right now. And that is because they voted strategically. They voted strategically to get Harper out of office. And that was the best idea they had. And it worked. And I'm trying <laughs> to remain optimistic as I'm looking at the feed behind me. And it's not looking good currently for Hillary. At this particular moment, it's uh, 8.40 p.m., Pacific Standard Time, and uh, at this point, Hillary is behind. I didn't realize Trump would get as close as he did, but I should have. I don't blame the people voting for Trump because of party affiliation or believing he will be less of a detriment to the country than Hillary. They're going with what they believe in that isn't necessarily a disgusting way of thinking. That's kind of how I was going with it. I'm going to go with what my candidate wanted. I can't fault a good possible third of the Republican Party for that. The problem I do have is with the people he's brought back to the forefront. People like the Bundys, who in my state fucked up a reserve and then got acquitted of any charges of fucking it up. This is what we get, folks. Yeah, I'm drunk. I've been drinking uh, not your father's root beer and uh, what is this? Uh, yeah, Henry Hart, Henry's Hard Soda Cherry Cola, which is actually pretty damn good. This is pretty damn good, too. But I've been drinking a lot since uh, the tally started, and I'm probably going to be drinking well into the night. Shit's fucked, and it's our fault. We brought it on us. This is our fault. I just don't know what to say. Other than the fact that I'm still hoping Hillary squeaks through. All signs are pointing to maybe not. Some of the states that we thought were guaranteed did not happen. Florida went to Trump. That was where I was concerned. If we lost Florida and we lost Ohio, which we did, we would be in serious trouble. And from the look of it, currently it is. Let me just double check on my the back here. Yep, polls have not changed. It's still a 20, uh, 228 to 209 for Trump. And while I know that it's still a wrong, a wrong <laughs> I still know it's a long road to hoe for finishing it out. I know that it's not going to get any easier, and I know what Trump is going to do. I know what some of his more not disgusting supporters are going to do. I predicted all of this from the beginning. I predicted that if Trump was going to get the nomination, that his supporters would push and push and push. And I saw 
during the primaries he was going to claim a rigged election. I figured he would be claiming a rigged election again once it looked like he was starting to lose at the end of the actual election, which he has. I have a feeling that if he does lose, the Republican Party will shatter in the way that we see it. It will no longer be the Republican Party we used to know, or that it's morphed into after 10, 12 years of just ridiculousness. And supporters for Trump will be angry. Some of them will be violently angry. I'm sure in the red states that went to Trump, the violence will be worse. I know for a fact from other internet articles that the anti-government militia movement, like the Bundys were part of, are already mobilizing in case of a Clinton win. I also know that a lot of the survivalists, or the preppers, as they're sometimes called, are preparing for the worst because they know either way it's going to end up being bad. Either way the election goes. And uh, I'm starting to consider maybe starting that myself because at this rate, fuck. All I know at this point is that I am not in the greatest mindset. I am not seeing good results for the future of America. And I absolutely do not want Trump to win. Now, Boogie, when he did his video, Boogie2988, uh, he had not very little problem with voting third party himself and had no problem with other people voting third party as well. I disagree to the point of if you weren't going to vote for Bernie and you're instead going third party, you're doing exactly the opposite of what Bernie asked you to do. My brother was one of those people. He decided to vote for Jill Stein. I couldn't convince him otherwise. He's kind of bullheaded when it comes to literally everything. But I think it was a mistake on his part. That said, Oregon did go blue, so his vote literally didn't matter. But for some of these other states, it could have easily mattered. I remember seeing before some of these states were called for Trump, how several of them were extremely too close to call. I remember Florida being, at some point in its uh, poll tally, being double digits difference. Um, at least through the NBC uh, live stream I've been watching. <sighs> My point of contention for those who voted third party when they wanted to go for Bernie is you trusted Bernie and then you decided you didn't want to. After he said vote for Clinton because he's a better chance for a better America than Trump or any of the other ones. Why? Why would you throw away the trust of the man you trusted in for that? I don't understand why you thought that was a good idea. I don't understand why you believe that you are actually making a difference in that regard. 
because in some of those battleground states where some of them weren't expected to be battlegrounds, you literally failed him. That's on you. It's not on Bernie. That's on you. Why am I talking politics, man? Why is this fucking election cycle such a shit show that I feel I need to talk about politics? The only politics I should be talking about is in fucking Skyrim or games like that. Why am I doing that here? I truly hate this election cycle. I truly hate this year for multiple reasons. This is just the icing on the fucking cake. Well, I'm lucky I have tomorrow off from work because if Hillary loses, I'm drinking myself into a coma. If Hillary wins, I'm probably still drinking myself into a coma. And I officially say fuck you to America. I'm so done with you and your bullshit. I'm going to see if my Michigander lineage <laughs> gets me a somewhat free pass to Canada. Zabatsu, you hear that? We took your trash for like decades. I deserve a fucking honorary Canadian citizenship, damn it. We took your trash for decades. For years. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> Although, if you could tweet this <laughs> video to the Zaibatsu or the uh, Super Best Friends Play, whichever ones you want to technically do, they're both the same people. Uh, that'd be nice. <laughs> they're my senpais. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Alright, well, I'm done with this video. I'm gonna get drunk. I'm gonna forget this election happened. I'm gonna forget tonight happened. I'm gonna forget this year happened. Because fuck this year so far. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck this year. Fuck everyone in it. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck everything. Fuck, fuck, fuck me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these sort of videos. I don't know why you would. <laughs> Click the like button if you like this particular video. Again, I don't know why you would. And share in the comments so we can bring more people into this community. Talk about the bullshit of this election. And America in general. I'm free to do either. And I will see you all in the next episode or video, or whatever the fuck I might do of this. Hopefully, <laughs> it won't be a series of how I'm surviving in the woods because Trump has fucked everything up. But, uh, at this rate, it might end up being that way. Anyway, this has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games, getting drunk, and being annoyed at fucking politics, because fuck politics for you.